Show your support. Like and subscribe. Hey guys, so check this out. Check this out. Are you guys ready for this? Check this out. Boom, no parking. That's right guys, rebel without a cause. Oh God, I'm so hardcore. So I was driving down 77 a little while ago up near uh, Virginia and uh, North Carolina border and there was this big piece of metal in the middle of the road and I of course hit it and it broke some of my stuff here. Uh, that was already broken but still like come on guys you're messing up my crap. What's going on guys? Welcome to a rainy, rainy Thursday out here in Atkins, Virginia. Just hooked up to the trailer. All right, we got our air hoses and our electrical line is all hooked up here. Now we're gonna go ahead and move the tandems forward. So we're gonna release our trailer air supply, let that fill up, and then in a few seconds, we're gonna pull it back out. Now we release. Now our landing gear's up. Now we come back to the tandems here on the back. And as you guys can see here, the tandems are pushed all the way to the back. Almost all the trailers that I get here from utility come with the tandems at the very back here. So what I need to do is I need to go ahead and release and move these on up to the front. Now I'm gonna get back in the truck and with the trailer brake set, I'm gonna go ahead and release the parking brake, put the truck in reverse, and then we're just gonna back it up. Got to put the window down there so you guys can see it's all wet. Let's go ahead and back up. And we're there. Now we go ahead and set our parking brake. Put it in neutral. Let's go ahead and walk back this way. As you can see here, the tandems have now been pushed forward. Let's come over here. And let's go ahead and release our pin. We're just pushing this button here. We're gonna check all four of these. There's one, there's two. Let's go check the other side. All right, so those are all good. Time to head over to the guard shack. Go get our paperwork and get out of here. Okay, so the big guy over here just inspected our trailer. We're all set. Time to go inside and get my release. All right, just pulling up to Thermo King over here in Gaston, South Carolina. About to go drop off the ninth and final trailer. That one right there, that one. Where is it? Right there. Ah, come on. There you go. And we've got that one right there in front of us. I brought that one last night. All right, so I've got my paperwork here. It's time to go in the office and drop off this ninth and final trailer. That one right there. I actually I actually dropped that one off last night. <laughs> they told me just leave it there. So this one will probably get dropped off right next to it. All signed, out in the rain. And yes, we're putting it right next to that one. And this one here is gonna be number 34. And today I'm dropping off number 35. What's going on guys? Good morning. Uh, sitting down to breakfast right now. We have uh, we have Cheerios, uh, a banana, and we are, I'm actually just putting cream cheese on my bagel here. So um, really nice breakfast. Um, bagel, unfortunately not toasted though, not toasted. Um, because I don't have, see I buy power inverters for people <laughs> and I do free giveaways, but I, I don't have a big enough power inverter to uh, 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 to work a toaster. I've got a 750 watt, um, does okay for uh, power in the laptop, a fan, you know, basic stuff. 
Um, I'm probably gonna go get like a 2500 or 3000 watt uh, pretty soon. But anyways, for right now, untoasted bagels. So yeah, that's that. All right, so it's a cool, cool afternoon uh, picking up here at Great Dane in Huntsville, Tennessee. Got our rack up there, put some binders in there and stuff. About to get all of our straps on here. They've got the uh, they've got the slide rail on this trailer, and when I do trailers like this, this is a, this is a triple stack of flatbeds. Usually, when I do trailers like this, I go ahead and I utilize what they've already provided. So I'm going to start sliding these things down, and then we're going to ratchet this thing nice and tight. Uh, and then I have this piece here. Um, this is the bulkhead there. Uh, they've got a bulkhead on here, and then on the second one over there sorry i'm moving around back and forth but uh yeah i got to secure this one here as well so anyways a little bit to do over the next few minutes and then we'll be getting out of here <laughs> hey guys time to put on the gloves time to uh go and break out the tools because uh we had an airline break um let me go ahead and show you guys that so i'm moving this trailer here got this up in Pennsylvania heading down to Knoxville but this is this is this is the issue that I ran into guys in here here I'm gonna have the guys in the comments yelling about the fact that I don't have a catwalk up and you know blah 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 see I haven't perfected this yet but I got this thing set up on here but last night I was forced to take a really sharp turn and I nicked this line and it broke right in half and then I also uh, nicked this line just a little bit so it's time to go ahead and do some replacement really quick so we can get back on the road as quickly as possible. All right, guys, take two here. Beautiful mountains in the background, of course. Uh, while I was going through my lines, I was checking to make sure that nothing else was hit. And I actually found that there's a little nick in the emergency line. So I decided to go back inside, traded things out, got a new set here. Um, yeah, it's a little expensive because I'm over here at the Petro. Uh, in Virginia so anyways we're gonna go ahead and trade these out and that'll be that and because I was parked all the way in the back of the lot I went ahead and moved my truck be much much closer to the door this is a lot easier over here so oh, look I left my gloves out too so let's go ahead let's take a look at this I went and snipped the first line got the first one off and I was coming through here and I was like uh oh got a it's nothing bad and it's not leaking because I was you know I was able to move the truck but still I don't like it. I want to replace it. Let's get it done. Okay, so we've got our new lines in. We're looking pretty good here. We've got it all secured. Everything is tight and being held down the right way. Uh, this isn't the most practical thing in the world, but it is going to get us down the road until I can get to uh, uh, get to a better store where things are a little bit cheaper because over here at the damn truck stop, man, everything's so expensive. Anyways, this will get us down the road and we'll get our full fix on later on uh when we install everything else and you know get it all taken care of guys so i am in where am i stewart's draft uh virginia right now and we've been taking these little pup trailers these 28 foot trailers um i've been taking a few of these the last few days um not specifically here to target but um i took my first one a few days ago the big question was was i going to be able to do it uh given that i do have um uh, uh the tandem dualies here in the back on my truck i'm not running with just a single axle i have the dual axle uh so the whole question was do i have enough room between my mud flaps uh uh, uh and the landing gear here to make sure that i won't hit anything uh when i'm making turns and whatnot so what you want to make sure if you're ever taking something like this is that you have a sliding fifth wheel and you have it slid all the way back because i guess in most cases 
and this apparent uh, uh, apparently this has happened quite a bit with a lot of the brokers is they have guys take these trailers they don't have sliding fifth wheels or they don't slide them all the way back they end up making a turn too sharp they end up damaging um either their truck or they damage the landing gear they damage something uh you could damage the kingpin i guess there's there's all kind of different things that could go wrong uh if you're doing it <laughs> um without your sliding fifth wheel all the way back and I guess you could have some pretty bad problems, but I've been taking these the last few days. Uh, this is my third one, not target. This is my first target one, but these 28 footers and uh, they're paying pretty good. I'm, 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 I'm actually making really good on these. Uh, the first one I took was $2.95 a mile. The second one I took was $3.08 a mile, I believe. And this one is, I think, like $2.87 a mile. So not too bad. I'm pretty happy with the price. I don't want to save you. Don't want to be strangers. Let me feel like you know what to do. Leave your limitations, live and go against them Just let go and start up something new Cause I know, I know, I know what you planned out Everything that you built up isn't what you want And I know, I know, I know the life you're living Isn't that fulfilling, let me help you out Make your love on me Leave your head and let your mind be free Save yourself and leave the words you spoken Cause some dreams are meant to be broken Make 